Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I'm sharing a card featuring components from the July 2017 Simon Says Stamp card kit, Summer Hello. And this card kit includes this adorable, exclusive teeny bikini wafer die, and just like the greeting from the stamp set included in the kit called See You Soon, the greeting is perfect. Bikinis are like fries. You can't have just one. And I thought that the pattern papers from the Echo Park Summer Dreams collection in the kit would make the perfect little row of bikinis for my card here. So what I'm gonna do is make some dimensional bikinis. I want them to pop off of the pattern paper background that I'm planning on using. And to do that, I think they need to be dimensional. So I've got a piece of fun foam here that I have gone ahead and placed stick it on each side. This is gonna make it sticky on each side so these are stickers. Then I'm simply trimming two by two squares from the pattern papers and placing them on one side of the fun foam. I'm just peeling back the backing paper from the stick it and placing my little squares. Now, I didn't cut my fun foam to size, but that's gonna be okay. Um, obviously, math is not my forte. Uh, and luckily, the little bikini pieces are gonna fit in that little section because I need six different patterns to use. Now, because this die is kind of small, I highly recommend using a smaller pattern. So you see I've got the polka dots, I've got the little scallop, I've got some solids, the teeny tiny flamingos, and the little watermelons. And they are gonna work perfectly for these adorable little bikini pieces. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess here. I've got one side that's too long with the stick it material and one side that's too short. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of that. And then because I don't want my die shifting at all when they go through the Big Shot machine, because I want the patterns to be fairly straight on, I'm gonna use a little post-it tape, or yes, to hold those in place while I run them through the die cutting machine. So I'm just kind of playing around, seeing which patterns I want to go together. For the first one, we're gonna have or I'm gonna cut these two patterns first. I'm just kind of starting at one end and working my way across. And I like to roll it through a couple times. It's going through a layer of pattern paper, stick it, fun foam, and stick it. It does die cut beautifully, it really does, especially the intricacy of these dies. Look at those cute little ties at the top of the bikini top and on the sides of the bikini. They're very, very detailed, but they die cut beautifully. So I'm just gonna simply peel up all these little pieces. I'm gonna be kind of careful. This one kind of came all the way out. So I'm just gonna carefully remove that there, the little top, remove the inside piece. This makes all of these die cuts into stickers simply by using the Stick It material. Next, for my background, I'm going to take another one of the Summer Dreams Echo Park pattern papers and using the Simon Says Stamp dot scallop border, I'm going to die cut the top edge of this. Now, the dot scallop border is only five and a half inches wide, so it's going to be like a standard card size, an A2 sized card. So I trimmed down my background paper a little bit to, so that I'd have a better idea where this is going to go, and then I'm simply die cutting the top edge of this panel. Once I have this die cut and I lay it over my other pattern paper background, I can figure out exactly where to trim that down. I don't want to waste any of the paper if I don't have to. So. I am only gonna die cut the top edge. I haven't trimmed it down yet. You can see it didn't die cut all the way across. My cutting plates must be a little bit warped. When this happens, don't despair. Go ahead and line that die back up. Make sure you wiggle the die around until it kind of falls back in place. It really should just kind of lock into place. You can put it right back where it goes kind of shift it, move it around on your cutting plate and run it back through and you should get a great die cut. I just really had a lot of trouble. I think my cutting pad is warped because everything I die cut this day had the same problem. 
So I switched it around and it die cut perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up. And it's got this great little scalloped edge with the dot detail, which I love for hand stitching. I did trim down the background white kind of wooden plank looking pattern paper. I trimmed down the text pattern paper that I just die cut with that scallop border edge. And now I'm using a piercing tool to remove any of those little inside pieces from the bikini die cut stickers. They do remove really easily, but because they're so tiny, they don't really like to come out unless you use some sort of a piercing tool. You could use a needle, a straight pin, something like that. The piercing tool is perfect for this. It pops those little areas right out. And then I'm simply adhering the little bikinis kind of at angles all the way across this background. And they're just so super cute. I absolutely love these. Go ahead and remove the last couple. I thought it was really fun mixing and matching the tops with the bottom, uh, the bottoms. To me, it looks like a lot of the ads that come out during summer season um, when their different stores are selling their swimsuits and they mix and match the bot tops and bottoms and to show you all the options available. That's kind of the look I was going for here because I always find that really fun. Um, it's very visually interesting to look at. And so that's what inspired my little bikinis here today. Now I kind of felt like my bikinis were going a little bit too much from high to low, really high to low. And what's great, the stick it's pretty forgiving, especially right when you're first sticking it down. And so I moved them around a little bit until I got them exactly the way I wanted them to go. Now I'm gonna use the Misty to line up the greeting from the See You Soon greeting stamp from this stamp set included in the July card kit. I'm just gonna move the rest of my paper out of the way a little bit, ink up the greeting a couple times with black ink and stamp it one on top of another so I get a really crisp black stamped greeting. Right there kind of in that little dip in the scallop. I love using the Misty to be able to get my greeting stamped exactly where I want them to go. Go ahead and move that out of the way. I'm ready to add the finishing touches. One thing about that dot scallop border that I think is so super fun is that you can actually stitch if you want to. You can hand stitch. And a lot of times I think it's perfect. You don't have to pierce through the paper yourself. Um, they're perfectly evenly spaced. It's basically a guide for hand stitching. I like to use crochet thread. It's a little thicker than embroidery floss. I'm doubling it up and simply going up and down each little hole. Instead of knotting it on the back, I tend to tape it on the back to keep it nice and flat. I'll secure it even more and put some adhesive over it. In fact, I'll be using the foam adhesive included in the card kit. And that's gonna raise it up and disguise any of that um, thread on the back of this panel. And also just give a little dimension to the whole panel as well. So I'm gonna continue going up and down each little hole here to create some fun aqua stitching that matches the paper, matches the bikinis. There is my stitching all complete. Tape down the other side with the post-it tape or washi tape, whatever you've got on hand. Take that foam adhesive included in the kit, and these little thin strips are great for going along a design. I don't want the foam adhesive back behind the stitching. I want it to go along the edge so it's nice and secure, and I also tend to like to use a lot of foam adhesive because I don't want any funky little areas that um, you have little craters is kind of what I call them in your card. So I like to make sure the backs of my cards when I'm using foam adhesive are nice and full. I'm just filling in with all these little pieces. Pull off all the backing from the foam adhesive. These little thin strips are fantastic for going around a shape like the scallop here or the yeah the scallop and the uh, kind of curving edge I guess I want to say. 
I'm going to go ahead and attach that panel to my background panel with the stamped greeting. And now I am ready to add finishing touches to my card. I'm going to start with glossy accents to the polka dots on the yellow polka dot bikini top. And then I'm going to fill in all of the rest of the pieces, including the solid bottoms, the pattern bottoms, and the pattern tops with glossy accents. This just gives it a great finishing touch, really kind of cements the, the look of these being stickers instead of die cuts you created yourself, which I absolutely love. Once this is completely dry, they'll have a nice glossy, shiny finish, which will help them pop up from that pattern background even more. Go ahead and finish filling in this last one. And then I'm going to take a little Nouveau Crystal Drops in Carnation Pink, Ripened Pumpkin in Dandelion Yellow, and add some little accent dots throughout the design in different sizes. I love that you can create your own enamel dots with these Nuvo Crystal Drops in any size that you want. That's my favorite thing about the Nuvo Crystal Drops is that maybe you don't have enough enamel dots in the size or color that you want. With these little bottles, you can create as many in any size, because I always run out of the little ones. I tend to use the little ones up first. You can create as many as you want. You could even go ahead and create them on a plastic sheet, pop them off and glue them on your cards in the traditional way, instead of go ahead and squeezing them onto your card like I'm doing here. So lots and lots of different ways to use these fantastic products. Once I have all of my little dots in place, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this to a side fold card base. And this summer themed card featuring the Simon Says Stamp July Card Kit, Summer Hello is what this is called, is going to be all finished. I hope this has inspired you to maybe try out some fun techniques with your dies. Thanks for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.